In this video, you will learn what information forging theory is, how it relates to our information seeking behaviors, and how you can be a better media and information producer and consumer. Have you ever noticed how heavy we depend on information? On the street, when we're not sure where to go, we either ask the locals for directions, or if you're tech savvy, you may use the geolocation features of your phone so you could be familiar with wherever you are. In academics, we search the web for references in writing our assignments and papers. In our free time, we either watch the news or read news articles on the web or social media to be updated with the latest and hottest trends. Well, we cannot blame ourselves. It's just human nature. Foraging for information is one of the ways to adapt in this world we live in since our brains actually need information to function. And do you know, there's a theory about that. It's called the Information Foraging Theory, proposed by Peter Piroli and Stuart Card in 1999. It uses the metaphor that humans are informivores, which is a term coined by George A. Miller in 1983. As informivores, or animals that consciously gather, seek, consume, and apply information, like food, it gives us the energy and brain power in living our lives. And it is only us human beings who belong to this category out of all living things. You know what's even more interesting? According to the information foraging theory, the way how animals hunt for food is similar to the way how humans search for information. The goal is the greatest benefit at the lowest effort. Others contend that it is Google that has made us lazy beings, but this behavior is scientifically proven. Hiroli's discoveries were consistent with the principle of least effort by George Kingsley Ziff. According to this principle, our behavior when seeking information generally follows the rule of energy conservation, and we always take the easiest means possible to achieve our desired outcomes. Calvin and Moore's expanded on this idea and noted that consumers will typically use computing systems in a way that is not too energy consuming and physically or mentally demanding. Now, since the primary goal of humans is to conserve energy and effort in doing things, in seeking information, the tendency is we click on the first Google result and believe its content without taking further steps in validating and assessing its credibility, reliability, timeliness, and accuracy. As a consequence, information disorders or the so-called disinfodemic happen when many people believe something just because it appears to be true. It affects everyone like a virus and those who lack the media and information literacy are the most vulnerable. We can fight this infodemic by making an effort to gather information from digital libraries, database of journal articles, and authoritative sources of information such as official government and educational portals. The web is not the enemy if we know how to use it right. Fact-check information by cross-checking references. Critically ask the right questions in assessing which information and media sources are reliable, credible, and accurate from those which are not. Sample questions are, who wrote this article? When was it published? Are there facts from this information source that I can verify from another source? Alert others on misleading social media content and this information. By exerting efforts in seeking and assessing the information that we feed into our systems like food, we will be a wiser, better, and productive media and information consumer and producer.